that's what kids do. They come and they make things interesting and they like, they, they, they change your life. And so I think there's this, he's as, as Kareem is thinking about the, the, the end of his career and he's thinking about life outside of basketball. Um, I think, you know, the child kind of like fast tracks that thinking in terms of like, there's this other life. There's this, these, these other things that are happening that, um, that are like incredibly important. Look, guys, I've been anticipating this season for so long. I love this show, and it lived up to every expectation I had for it. Yeah, this show's brilliant. Um, Jason, first question for you. Uh, you guys won the championship. Well, you guys, the, they won the championship in uh, in the last season. Uh, how has winning kind of affected Paul White, uh, Paul West Westhead uh, in this season? Yeah, well, I think that Paul Westhead had a really unexpected triumph in season one and did something that he never thought he was going to be able to accomplish. And season two is about uh, if he has what it takes to handle that with grace and dignity, um, because that's a whole other that's a whole other part of this um, equation. And uh, yeah, you watch him have this power struggle with a few people. Um, because it's not easy to it's not easy to win. It turns out now, Solomon. I think you are amazing as Kareem, and there's a, such a great scene that you have with uh, Dr. Jerry Buss, where he kind of breaks down uh, this this lifetime contract situation. Uh, can you talk to me about Kareem's uh, view of the organization uh, during the course of the season and how that kind of shifts and changes? Sure. I mean, you know, again, like it's the '80s. It ushers in this 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 era of stars and. And the game is becoming more popular. The money's getting bigger. And so I think, you know, he's he's kind of somewhat of the old guard, but he's experiencing these new, these changes and and this new kind of owner. Jerry Buss was a totally different owner than, you know, than what he'd experienced or what the NBA had experienced. And so I think there's this, uh, you know, the t- there's the tension there, right? In that scene, it really kind of just spills out a lot of the things that kind of he'd been holding in his heart or that he was kind of figuring out for himself. And so I think, I think, yeah, there's this, it's, uh, there's all these collisions in the show, right? Collisions in, in different philosophies, Air perspectives around eras, et cetera. And so I think that's a, that's a, that's a major one. You have like this player who's like a classic NBA player and this like this brand new kind of NBA owner and mm. having it out in a skating rink. <laughs> uh, Jason, talk to me a little bit about the system, because I feel like the system is something that really benefits uh, Kareem's style of play, especially at the, uh, the the stage of his career that he's in. So can you talk to me a little bit about when Paul West Westhead kind of uh, installed the system into the Lakers? Yes. And forgive me if my memory is a little bit foggy, but I actually think that the system really came into place after Kareem got injured for a bit, right? And 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 it was about shooting. It was about shooting as soon as you catch the ball, no dribbling. The more shots you take, the more likely you're, you're to make them. And everyone thought it was crazy. I think in today's NBA, they are in a lot of ways, now that it's become the three-point game, they're they're running versions of the system all over like those warriors. I mean, they have a, they're doing a lot of movement, but there's a lot of shooting. Um, so I, uh, maybe Paul was before his time. I don't know. He actually had success with the system in some of his other coaching endeavors, yeah. just not, not in the NBA. LMU. I think uh, he, he coached LMU and they put up, I, I think the most points in NCAA at the time history. That's right. That's right. Yes. And I think he, I think he ran it in Japan as well. And it went, it went pretty well. I could be wrong. Now, Solomon, uh, look, I think the basketball scenes in this show are phenomenal. It almost takes, it's like, take, like, I know what happens in the games. You know what I mean? I, I know history, but it takes you right there inside and, and you really get a feel for what the players were going through. Can you talk about the preparation you guys do to prepare for those scenes? Sure. Yeah. I mean, there was obviously a lot of training and a lot of choreography, right? So we would figure out what we wanted to shoot basketball wise. And then it was just reps, basically getting in like the practice gyms and kind of going through it with the incredible group of like background basketball players who showed up and just gave their, their, like gave their all every time. Um, so, you know, it was like, and, and we were blessed. We were working with background guys who had played in the NBA. So like real amazing basketball players. And so all of that, and then, you know, you match that with the, the, just the, the way that the, the set is, is designed and then the incredible camera work where you sometimes you have somebody on rollerblades where they're they're just, they're just trying to get as many different angles as possible. And so I think, you know, it's this, this this collaboration of like, you know, obviously the reps in the gym, but also these incredible artists who have these visions for how they want it to show up. Jason, there's this uh, incredible brotherhood that Paul and Pat have in the first season. And that's really put to the, to the test in season two. Can you talk about their relationship throughout the course of season two? It's really complicated because I think the reality of that dynamic, at least as it's portrayed in our show, is that um, 
they had, they, they achieved something together really side by side. Um, both of them trying to fill the gap left by, um, uh, Tracy, Tracy Letts character getting in that terrible accident. And so they, they achieved this thing together, but Paul Westhead had the official title and he was, um, in our show, unable to sort of share. And whenever someone came near that title or asked for compromise or tried to challenge one of his opinions, he had a really hard time, um, listening and hearing. And history shows us that Pat Riley turned out to be a basketball genius and uh, and I think that that was hard for Paul Westhead because he he finally wanted his due um, because, you know, even that first championship was Coach McKinney's championship from the public's point of view. Now, Solomon, one of the major themes throughout season two is fatherhood. Um, we see it really affect a lot of different characters in a lot of different ways. Can you talk about how fatherhood affects Kareem in season two and his mindset on the team? I mean, it's like I think it's one of those things where similarly, you know, he he won a lot of championships. He, he'd won a championship. Sorry. You know, he'd had a lot of success, multiple MVPs. And then, you know, there's this newness with this championship, with this new crew, with Magic and and and, and the coaches and the organization. I think fatherhood as well. You know, this is a, this is not his first child, but yeah. it's a child that comes. And it's like, I think that's what kids do. They come and they make things interesting and they like they 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 change your life. And so I think there's this he's as, as Kareem is thinking about the, the, the end of his career and he's thinking about life outside of basketball. Um, I think, you know, the child kind of like fast tracks that thinking in terms of like, there's this other life. There's these, these other things that are happening that um, that are like incredibly important. And I feel like, you know, it, it has a positive impact on on who, how he sees himself. Winning time season two is phenomenal. I can't wait for everyone to see it. I can't wait to revisit it myself. I'm already waiting for uh, winning time season three. It, it, this show is phenomenal. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man.